What the is yo mama? Hey guys, I'm the same one here, and today we have another Minecraft video, and today is my own design of a game I saw last week that, um, um, what was it? Caveman Films? I mean, no, wait, was it Caveman Films and Ant Venom? Hold on, um. Well, whoever. It was called Dungeon Runner, and that gave me a little idea to make it. And then I decided, hold on, gotta turn up the sound. Alright. And that made me decide to make a Dungeon Runner also, and it's got Dungeon Parkour in it too. So we go ahead and play right here. This is how it starts, and this is my own design. I did not copy anyone. I just tr tried to take the idea into my own hands and kind of balance it to make it my own version to seem like maybe at least as fun as the real one is. So that's why I added parkour too. So right here is the room, the spawn room, and like the windows with the falling lava and the lava floor. I'm g I have lava floor everywhere. This is just the review of this game right now okay so here we go press lever to open up gate to the safe room finish levels one through five of dungeon runner slash parkour to win prizes behind us you start off with two diamonds and six emeralds good luck and have fun so then here's what you start off with you will wonder why I have an iron pickaxe in there but I'm not gonna take out anything but I'll take out the books okay so then let's go ahead into the safe room and here's the dungeon runner safe room now let's see this press lever to open up level one press lever to open up level two same thing level three level four and of course you get golden apples the enchanted ones you get golden apples so then all right so real quickly let's read the stuff what we got is game instruction trade routes or routes I say both really dungeon runner and dungeon parkour so let's go ahead and read the game instruction all right six pages welcome to technician gaming's new official game of dungeon runner slash parkour yay Technetium Gaming is, of course, if you don't know, my third channel with all the gaming and stuff and the Minecraft gameplay. So if you don't know that, just go to my channel and look for the link to go to that and subscribe and that crap, whatever. And I also named my Minecraft character Technetium Gaming, so yeah. Alright, rules. One, use the iron pickaxe that was in the um, chest in the spawn room. To only mine the emerald ore, this emerald ore, you get eight free emerald ore, four from that and four from the parkour. So you get eight free emeralds. All right, next. Let's see. Two. You can use the emeralds you have collected from each course, runner, and parkour to trade with villagers for helpful prizes. Yes, you can. Villagers are right here. Mm -hmm. And then there's another one in the parkour room. I'll show you after I finish all four of these books. You can also trade with these villagers. Yay. So then here is a blacksmith and a butcher. So, hello, my name is Marcus. What can I help you with today, sir? And then the other one. Hello, my name is Andrew. What can I help you with today, sir? And the blacksmith ha can trade seven emerald for a, dime, a pair of diamond boots. And then if you go to the next one, ten emeralds for a diamond pick, uh, diamond axe. But that's worthless, so don't. I would not choose that. All right, and then the other one has four emeralds for a leather tunic. And then this is worthless too. Seventeen raw pork chops for one emerald. So then, hold on, I gotta sneeze. Ready? Hold on, it's coming. It's coming, just... Yeah. 
It's like pepper in the air. Hold on. Jesus, it's taking a long time. Hold on. Okay. 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 Dose. Okay. So we are on direction number three. All right, three. When in the safe room, which is this room right here, above you is a secret entrance to the dungeon parkour safe room. Flip the levers to enter. Yes, right here. Parkour courses win prizes, at, such as emeralds and armor and stuff. Flip those switches, and you go. You might be wondering how you get up here. Well, this right here is just for decoration, but there's two ways you can get up. You can get up by jumping this right here, and you can jump all the way across, or you can just do the easy way and get up here and just, you know, just jump like that. That's, I would suggest that way. Alright, we are on number four. Four, when you have reached the end of a course, runner, or parkour, flip the switch to activate a piston to fall back, taking the stone block with it underneath the emerald or on course five of runner and parkour, as in these. Since there are four levels, there are four stone blocks underneath these four emeralds. Each time you flip a switch at the end of each course, one will fall back, like the piston will take it back. And, yeah, if you don't get that idea, just comment down and I'll tell you. It's easier to explain on typing. Alright, number five. When you, have, when you finish a course, you are allowed to use the creative mode to fly back to the safe room. But no cheating, when back in the safe room, please go back to adventure slash survival mode. Yeah. But for the parkour, you won't need creative mode, because you'll be able to, like, run back. But for this crap, it's going to be, like, long as shit. It's going to be, like, a long dungeon temple run. So then you're going to have to use creative. But you can't cheat. Alright, so then we are on... Uh, let's see. Six. Collect diamonds for points. Twelve, di 12 points in all. 12 diamonds in all. In the dungeon parkour safe room, there is another villager you can trade with, which I was talking about earlier. This time, this villager tr trade, I had to put, I forgot to put this right there, trades an emerald f for f four diamonds. When collected all diamonds, you can get three emeralds from that villager. Yes, and I'll show you him when we're done with all these books. Alright, seven. There are 47 emeralds in total. Three from Diamond Trading Villager. Yes. From every single thing, including the emerald ore, and like all that, the two emeralds from the chest, I calculated 47 emeralds in all. If you use it the Pacific way, I said, like with trading the, the 12 points or the 12 diamonds for the three emeralds. Yeah. So then, and the last page, number eight, have the time of your life. Good luck and have fun! <laughs> Smiley! Oh my god, my throat. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, we're done with the game instruction. My throat extremely hurts like hell right now from that. I, I had to. I'm going to create a gaming highlight for that. Yeah, I should. Alright, trade routes. Trade routes, or routes, whatever. Alright, Marcus, which is the um villager on my left... Marcus, number one, his first offer is seven emeralds for diamond boots. His second offer is ten emeralds for diamond pickaxe. And then, I put in parenthesis, I put parentheses, do not buy diamond pickaxe, totally worthless. Next is Andrew, the villager on my right. Alright, his first offer is four emeralds for leather tunic. 
His second offer is 17 raw pork chops for one emerald. Do not buy raw pork chops. Totally worthless. And then the one in this um, dungeon parkour safe room named David. His first offer is four diamonds for one emerald. His second um, trade. His second offer is seven emeralds for diamond boots, which is the same thing as Marcus on my left. And, well, mm, yeah. Trade with these three villagers, and these are the prizes you will get. The first offers are really helpful. Yes, they absolutely are. And that was trade routes or routes or whatever the fuck you say. And next, the two books of shut up, bitch, fucking Harold Ryan. I'm in the middle of a freaking reveal, bitch. Okay, dungeon parkour, dungeon runner, dungeon runner. All right, the dungeon runner game is simple. All you have to do is try to get to the end of every level. At the end of every level, there will be a sign with words on it, <laughs> a chest with prizes. And a lever to activate a fallback in the piston with the one fourth stone, which I already showed you with before. Like it activates one stone and brings it back, and you got three more left. Oh crap, sorry. Br stone bricks with it. Underneath the emerald ore, it, it's supposed to say. It's supposed to say that, but I. I it's supposed to say that or with. I don't care. But I, I accidentally said it with both books. So that the stone bricks. With the stone bricks that will fall back. Every time you complete a level. Alright. To advance to level 5. You may go in any direction you want. Like in order or backwards or whatever the hell you want to do. <laughs> yeah you could go off like level 3 to 2 to 1 to 4. You can do whatever the hell you want. Basically, it's the exact same thing with dungeon parkour. So let me just read that real quick. The dungeon parkour game is simple. All you have to do is try to get to the end of every course. Yes, dungeon parkour is course. Dungeon runner is level. At the end of every course, there will be a sign with words on it. <laughs> a chest with prizes and a lever to activate a fallback in the piston with one fourth stone whatever bricks with it underneath the emerald ore that that the uh that the stone bricks that will fall back every time you complete a course to advance to course five you may go in any direction you want like in order or backwards or whatever the hell you want. <laughs> well, that was basically the three, four, whatever, four instruction books. Alright. And here we go. Let's see. Last one. Level five. Finish levels one through four to open. And that was basically it for the dungeon runner. Um, safe room, and now let's go up, fatality. Yeah, first try ain't gonna happen, son. Alright, let's go into the parkour safe room. Parkour courses win prizes. Alright. Flip. Flip. Yeah, of course. That's not gonna be the first try too either, son. Or Okay, okay, okay. Okay, third time was a charm. So was second. And then you have a stairway to the exact same kind of room, but a little smaller. So let's see what's here. Lever, blah. Parkour course number one. You get one emerald from this. Parkour course number two, you get two emeralds. Parkour course number three, you get three emeralds. Parkour course number three, you I mean four, you get four emeralds. And last one, parkour course number five. Five emeralds. Finish courses... Number four to number um four one through four to open and also um I didn't write emeralds but you get one emerald when you complete level one in the dungeon runner you get two for level two three for level three and four for level four and five for level five so that's because if it if I didn't count emeralds to be in that 
then it would be minus 15 of 47, which is um 32. So that would be 32 emeralds. But I decide to add and go like, what the hell? I don't care. So then, right here, let's just see. Here is the other villager, David, that I, that we were talking about, that trades for diamonds. See, he trades four diamond. He trades an emerald for four diamonds, or you could get diamond boots for seven emeralds. Those both are really helpful. But yeah, hello, my name is David. What can I help you with today, sir? Um, I don't know. Maybe telling me how the hell to get out of this piece of shit. Go fuck yourself, fucking villager. I would have bought freaking 64 of a whole stack of wheat from a farmer that you son of a bitch offer. Fuck you, I'm out. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I need that out rule. I'm so sorry. Oh, never mind. Fuck you. Wait. 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 Nah, I'm alright. What? Anyone got a gun? Never mind. I, I just whatever the fuck. Okay, so that was basically the whole review of my dungeon runner slash parkour game that I will be showing every level at at least some time. As you see, there is no lava underneath these courses, but and they the same for those. But look, there's lava under this course. Son of a bitch. Just when I think everything's perfect. <laughs> of course. You see, right here, there's lava under this course. Which means, I have finished it. I finished it, um, about ten minutes ago, and I will show it in a separate video. But not in this, because it's a review. So, we will be doing parkour course number one for one emerald. And then, you'll see this stone brick fall back. And then... Yeah. And that was basically the whole game review, guys. And just a perfect time for the song to come up. So that was basically it, guys. Thanks for watching. Why don't you like this video, share this video with your friends, and please subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Alright, guys. That's it for the game review. Go in my playlist on Minecraft or my browse videos to find the dungeon runner slash park dun um, dungeon runner slash parkour um, course my for Minecraft. Watch me play number one co um, parkour course number one for dungeon parkour. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. I was hoping that would be a really great ending. Sleeping. But what would be, what would be better? Hmm. Let me just think about it. Hmm. Let me think about it in um survival. I think this will help. Um. I don't know what would be better, but uh, let's see. Um. I wonder if uh, let's see. All right, all right. Uh, what was what would be a great ending? Come on, Ryan, you got this. Um, just look around the room or something. Oh, shit. Oh, my Jesus. I was hoping that would be a great... Fuck, fuck. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please just do all that shit I said before. Just like this video. Share this video with your friends. And please subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Epic Blasty 1 signing out.